In 1993, when the World Wide Web was new, Scott Draves released the Flame algorithm as open source. This was, quite possibly, the earliest application of the GPL to art. Since then, his code has been copied, expanded, and is still thriving. Every day, people all over the world create flames with no intervention or permission from Draves. As an example, flames have been used recently in works by former pre-Ars Electronica prize winners. Loca, a music video by Glenn Marshall, released in 2008. Strange Culture, a movie about Steve Kurtz by Lynn Hirschman Leeson, released in 2007. In fact, one of the very earliest flames, Flame Number 149 by Scott Draves, won a pre ars honorary mention in 1993. Now flames are used by commercial artists in films, books, TV and advertising, as well as by thousands of hobbyists. Flame is not an end-user application. It is an algorithm and API but a departure from the usual graphics APIs, which are based on the metaphors of the pen, geometry, and 3D. Flame images are formed by solving a recursive equation with thousands of parameters and millions of variables. The results are distinctive, recognizable, and extremely diverse. How do designers make flame images? At first, they used flame plugins made by other programmers for Photoshop and Adobe After Effects. Flame is on millions of desktops worldwide, having shipped standard with Linux for years in the GIMP. Eventually, more powerful standalone apps appeared, such as Apophysis for Windows in 2004, Oxidizer for Mac in 2006, Cosmic for Linux in 2008, Apo 3D in 2009, and the cross-platform Frost in 2009. Following Flame's open-source GPL licensing, these applications are all also GPL. The Electric Sheep is another important design source. It's an easy-to-use, open-source screensaver that animates flame designs and creates new flames using a popularity-driven genetic algorithm. All are Creative Commons licensed for remix and reuse. Designs frequently appear in do-it-yourself music videos and VJ performance. Making the decision to open-source one's art is a philosophical statement in support of creating a better society, one with more creativity that is more participatory, less prepackaged and broadcast. An artist who makes open source artwork actively relinquishes control, realizing that others may use it for questionable ends. But the artistic rewards Draves has received by sharing the code have been tremendous. It has been vastly expanded by contributions from all over the world and totally rewritten in 2009. Flames have become their own genre, currently ranking seventh in Google under the search term Flames. Scott Draves has spawned an immense loosely joined worldwide community of designers, programmers, and passionate fans. The open sourcing of the Flame algorithm and how our culture has responded to it show how the free flow of information allows an artist to exceed their own boundaries.